Okay, we're over here at Payroll Plaza, the site of the March for Life two days uh, two days ago on a, very, on a cold uh, early spring Saturday. Now, I just want to do a quick article about this because honestly, they didn't have a large turnout for this, but the weather was very cold and it was opening day fishing season, which yes, it is a huge deal here in Pennsylvania. But one thing I want to point out about this about this rally is it was actually a rally, not really a march, but even though they didn't have, this was more of a, even though it was organized, this wasn't, this wasn't the type of rally where you had, you know, a lot of people turn out where you had to have, you know, your police making sure nothing, nothing happened, you know, and just the extra security and everything. This was a very basic, very to the point rally of, in, you know, and not getting off topic, all right? And when I say very basic and very to the point, what I mean is it had a more, for lack of a better term, it had more of a, of a hometown feel to it versus just a lot of people, you know, a, you know versus um, a large amount of people getting together, you know, expressing their opinions and then bam, and, and then leaving. This definitely had a more organic feel to it. You know, organic hometown where you had a small group of people who braved the, braved the weather and braved the elements to say, you know what, this is what we think is wrong. This is what we think needs to be fixed. And everything was right on topic and to the point. Nobody tried to steer, you know, veer off the topic of trying to reform healthcare. No one tried to, get, you know, have their own agenda. Every everybody was gathered here for for that specific reason on the issue of healthcare and trying to reform it and make how it actually makes sense for a change. Um, you know, it's kind of hard to describe. Honestly, I used two words already, but it was a rally that I actually enjoyed attending because. Everyone there, their voice didn't get lost in the hundreds to thousands of people that normally show up for something like this. Everyone there, um, after the after the rally was the rally march was over, they encouraged people, "Hey, look, stick around for a little bit, talk to people, share your ideas," and that's what a lot of people, a lot of the attendees actually did. Um, I had a couple of great conversations before and after, where people were actually listening to each other, not just okay well it's over see see you at the next one you know people were actually sharing their ideas getting to know each other and connecting on a community level that is the best word to describe this rally right there it was a more of a true community event than a huge a huge march we had hundreds to thousands to ten thousand tens of thousands of people together and then all of a sudden bam see ya see at the next one whatever you know uh they did a fantastic job on this they did a great job making their making their, their points uh, and a great job expressing their genuine concern because again this wasn't this was everyone who spoke the people that attended there had a genuine interest in this top in this topic of healthcare, and also had genuine and unique ideas as far as ways to fix it and to stress hey look we got we got to stay on top of our representatives here be, so that we make sure that our voices aren't lost and that we are heard so uh you know the march for health was just something different not what much better than what i expected to attend and cover as a journalist and member of the media definitely to the organizers fantastic amazing job on this you know I believe you really got your point across, and even if it wasn't your intention, you had you added a true community, small gathering feel to it, which, in my opinion, may can have a bigger impact than your large rallies and marches. The magazine sponsors, thank you so much, financial sponsors and the people who sponsor in other ways. Without you, this wouldn't be possible. To everybody who supports the magazine, thank you so much because without you, there'd be no point to doing this. Can you flip it here every once in a while? I just choose not to. I try very hard not to. I like doing stuff just for myself.
Take care, everybody. Spring is here. It is gorgeous out weather out here. Take care and stay safe.